Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. I'm sorry I haven't posted on this channel for a really long time but I'm really excited. I saw that we are now 273 people. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. So I've been wanting to do a little um, chit chat like sit down and talk video and you know at first I wanted to do it at Christmas then I wanted to do it on New Year's Eve. I don't know if I intended to do it on New Year's Day, but um, anyway, it's the 9th of January and it looks like I didn't do it on any of the other days that I intended to do it. So before this video, I noted down a few things that I thought we could chat about and maybe you can let me know in the comments below how you're doing and I'd be super excited to hear how your, your new year has begun and whether you've set any goals for this um, year, like any new year's resolution, so if you ever do that, that sort of thing would really interest me. Um, the points on this list are kind of random, <laughs> so I didn't um, put them in any specific order. One thing I want to say is, if you speak German, I have a new YouTube channel, which is really fun because I am commenting on German trash TV like The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, Are You The One? Um, maybe some other shows as well we will see in the future so i'm going to have a link for that probably in the info box and also there will be a comment hopefully and <clears throat> i wanna let's just start here i want to share why i'm doing that and why i'm doing that in german so i actually started this youtube channel speaking in in German and then I switched to English and now it's in English so I didn't want to put all the German content on this channel because it doesn't make any sense and then also I wanted to have the other channel completely niche down to commenting on TV programs and nothing else just so that when people go to the channel and find it that they just know what it is and they know whether they're interested or not. Um. I did at some point start a video where I was reading from my one line a day but then um, I felt that it was too personal but I thought maybe for the purpose of this video I could just open it, point at one and if that one isn't too personal then I can share it with you. And now I forgot the book in the other room. Um, let me just go and get it. Um, by the way, I look like I'm on some sort of holiday, beach holiday, but I'm not. <laughs> it's like winter. I put the heater on, but I just wanted to wear this. I, hadn't, I haven't worn this in a long time. I like this. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show you. Okay, one minute. Because I went shopping yesterday, I thought I include on my little list here a section that says what I recently bought, because I thought maybe you're interested. So I went to H&M yesterday and I bought this dress, if I can manage. It's so nice, it's so nice. You can't really see it well, but you know, um, has this ever happened to you? In the past, I uh, when I decluttered my clothes, I threw out two dresses because they reminded me of dates with an ex and I thought I should get rid of them, get rid of that sort of energy. But then I realized I shouldn't have done that because I loved those dresses and I just should have washed them and like pretended to give them a new energy or whatever but I really regretted throwing those dresses out. Has this ever happened to you? It's really sad but um, this dress is a bit similar to what I had then before I threw it out. I was trying for a really long time to find something like this and then I bought this really really cool shirt. Hold on. 
it's so fun it's one of those like um uh, short um you, you kind of have to have another um shirt under un unless you're okay with showing your belly <laughs> so oh i love this color don't you love this color it's so nice and then because i uh, bought this uh, i'm currently in germany so bought these licorice because um licorice in the uk it's not very good so. uh, and also i bought this licorice powder when i was a child i hope you don't think this is disgusting but i'm just gonna share it you should try it by the way i um and in the christmas time um i got like a christmas santa claus um like a chocolate santa claus and then i got this um powder and then i dipped the chocolate into the powder and it was so good if you like chocolate and if you like um uh, licorice then you're gonna love it try it um while we're talking about food why don't i just continue um every morning and i'm actually serious every morning i drink freshly pressed celery juice and if you're thinking or asking yourself who's pressing that me i'm pressing the cel celery juice every morning no matter like even if i have to get up super early for work or something else it doesn't matter i do it every morning unless i sleep at a friend's house for one night and then they don't have a juicer but other than that i do it every day and um if you're interested in why check out the medical medium on instagram or he has a couple of books i read his book on celery juice you don't necessarily have to read the book but um yeah i i just wanted to and why did i so people do this for different reasons but why did i start doing this originally last year i struggled with fatigue after having covid and i was really trying to find something that would bring me back on track and honestly i'm very open to trying new things as long i mean what you can't really go wrong it's um it's natural so i thought yeah it's it can't be a bad thing so i just tried it and it really helped and then i asked my boyfriend to buy me a juicer for christmas and he did and so i've been doing it ever since and another thing that i noticed since drinking the celery juice is that my sugar craving has almost gone if not i mean i'm a bit reluctant to say it has completely gone because it feels like such a big thing to say but honestly you know i used to really crave chocolate and sweets and i really don't so it's very interesting because my other friend who's drinking the celery juice every morning noticed the exact same thing separately from me like um it's just interesting anyway i'm very happy that that's what i'm doing every morning and i'm enjoying it i'm even almost enjoying the juicing and cleaning the juicer and all of that <laughs> yeah another thing i've tried this is by the way i'm not like telling you you don't have to do any of the things i'm doing i'm just sharing um i've tried hellofresh and i really like it because it's just so convenient and so easy and you get to try new recipes you don't have to go shopping yeah it's nice so if you haven't tried it try it oh yesterday i have reached a really big goal a oh, really big goal sounds so i don't know but yesterday was the day where i reached 100 days of meditation now if anyone would have said to me last year in the beginning of the year that i would make it that i would be able to do a hundred consecutive 
get is I don't know I can't say this um days of meditation without fail like even Saturday Sunday even Christmas day and New Year like every single day that I would do the meditation I would have been like no way no way but because I've tried and failed so many times um but then there were a couple of reasons in October last year that made me make a really strong to commitment to seeing it through. So my first goal was to do 30 days of meditation um, every single day in November. And I saw it through and I could just see how beneficial it was for myself in every way that I just thought I'd be really stupid to stop it if it's so beneficial to me so then i just thought okay let's do 60 days and then i thought okay let's do 90 well why 90 let's do 100 so i don't know how many more days i'm gonna go on for all i know for now is that it's been just so extremely beneficial it just helps me find clarity it helps me see my inner guidance my inner voice um it makes me more confident like when i feel low or when times get rough or that you know that self doubt that sometimes creeps in and i think that's probably very natural for anybody that's when the meditation comes in and it's just so beneficial because it brings you back to who you really are at the core and I just love it I couldn't re recommend it more check out Dr. Joe's um, YouTube channel Dr. Joe Dispenza that's the meditations that I do um, because the testimonials are so motivating like whenever I feel like I'm falling off track I'm like okay what new testimonial testimonials have been uploaded because they're just so uplifting okay let's see our podcast so i'm taking a break on the podcast because it's very important to only focus on between one and three goals at a time and not more so that actually goes hand in hand with my review book and i'm going to share my 222 goals with you i feel like i'm like a new speaker or something <laughs> so um let's go number one listening and acting on my gut feeling who else has this on the new yes resolutions list tell me tell me in the comments i think this is so important like every single time i don't listen to my gut feeling i fall flat on my face because it's like we our gut feeling is our connection to the universe to the higher power at least that's what i believe and when you go against that you go against divine knowledge divine energy it's just stupid in a way just don't do it but i know we all do it sometimes because we look at facts and that's what we're taught like to look at paper but we should really just feel inside and decide with our gut feeling so that's why that's on um, my New Year's resolutions list. Number two, finding, getting, having, keeping my dream job. <laughs> that was a long one. Three, starting and committing to my German Trash TV YouTube channel. Yes, Woo I've done that. Um, I mean, I'm still on it, but I am doing it um okay but about the podcast yeah i'm taking a break on the podcast if you're with me on instagram my name is melanie josephine coaching everything small everything together um you can follow me there uh, i posted about taking a break on the podcast i have by the way 43 episodes if you are interested in relationships you should definitely check it out there's so much good content um you can listen to it anywhere where you can listen to podcasts whether it's i apple podcast or spotify or anywhere just type in the, the podcast is called change your love life forever with melanie josephine 
or if you just type in Melanie Sofini and you search for it, you can find it. But so there's 43 episodes you can listen to, but I'm taking a small little break. I don't know how long. Um, and I will be back. I can't wait to hit the 50 mark. Do you know, do, do you know how it feels like you always want to hit those specific numbers? Um, and my boyfriend might come on the podcast at some point. I didn't think he'd be open to it, but he said he's open to it. Um, oh, I, I don't know if I've ever shared this on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to share with you something that my friends already know. Maybe some of you are watching. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you. So um, I've done a little project, like a little fun thing that's called bad day letter and um, I would like pick a friend and they would write a letter to me that I get to open on a day where I feel really low where I have like a really bad day and then I would do the same for them so when you receive the letter you just put it in a space where you know you'll find it when you have a bad day and when that day comes you open the letter and read it and it's so comforting when you're having that really really horrible day and you know oh my gosh at least I have one thing I can do I can read my bad day letter <laughs> anyway share it with a friend do it with a friend or even if you don't want to do it as an exchange you can just do it like in the beginning I just did it for other people just for fun but you can also do it as an exchange um oh I haven't read from my one line a day so let's hope um picking something that I can actually read to you. Da -da -da -da. Bam! Okay. 220. July 25, 220. What did I experience? Oh no! Oh my gosh, I had a really bad day. <laughs> I had a really bad day on July 25th, 2020. I don't know if I can share this. Um. Oh. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to share this with you. It's a little bit personal, but I'm going to share it. I wrote, I cried so much this afternoon. Sometimes I just have so many expectations and when they are not met, I'm upset. I think anyone sometimes feels like that, don't they? The evening was really lovely. My boyfriend and I eight burgers and had a good chat um i love to see him smile oh i don't know why i cried on that day this is the thing i haven't sat down that often to read this but sometimes because you only have this small space which is fine because you don't i mean i don't want to I don't want to like write all evening but then sometimes you write something and, and you don't know the context context <laughs> the context <laughs> anyway um let's see was there anything else i wanted to share oh one of my new favorites is an electric blanket who of you guys have an electric blanket i've never had an electric blanket in my life until one of my friends um said that it's really amazing and so my boyfriend and i we ordered one um for our home in the UK and oh my gosh it makes such a difference it's so nice just make sure that you turn it off when you go to bed you don't want to have it on all night but it's so cozy and so nice and I bought one here so now I've got one here I just like being warm <laughs> okay anyway I think that's all I wanted to catch you up on let me know in the comments below how you're doing Sending you lots of love if you haven't prescribed. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do it. And if you speak German, come and join me at my new YouTube channel over there. And yeah, just lots of love and see you in my next video.